Ladies and gentlemen, after years and years and years of collecting parts and saving money and researching, the Audi is officially EFI and turbo. Built the harness back over the summer. I didn't, I was just chasing problems and I couldn't get the ECU to read RPM or anything like that, but I finally got it working. Um, and I will say it sounds much better. This thing used to only rev to like 4,500 RPM, but now it revs up to seven grand, no problem. No more K-Jet bullshit. Uh, I got my mega squirt just dangling down right there. Anyways, I thought I'd just give you all a quick startup real quick. Running really smooth. The idle's kind of high, but yeah, it sounds awesome. Pretty much using all uh, factory plus parts. Um, this charge pipe is from a 5000 turbo. Um, the only weird thing I had to buy was this silicone piece right here because I couldn't find an OEM VW piece that would wrap that tightly around it. So I picked a few junkyards. I couldn't find one that fit. So I decided just to go custom on it or eBay special, I guess. Throttle body is from a 7A. The injectors are from a Volvo S60R because they're factory 440cc, which will be plenty for this thing. Um, the fuel rail is, uh, it's hard to see, but it's 034 Motorsports. Then since the NG has the injectors in the intake rather than cylinder head, I had to make some spacer brackets to space out the, uh, the injectors properly. Um, and then I also got the 034 um, CIS to EFI. The turbo is a K26 off of a 5000. I'm not running an O2 sensor right now. I'll get around to that at some point. Dowd pipe, all that shit's 5000 5, turbo. I did have to make a custom bent. It's hard to see, sorry. To make a custom bent tie rod for the passenger side. Two Bennett sells them but they're like $500, which is a fucking ripoff. I just got them. Um, I got this one off of Rock Auto for 13 bucks. bought a $50 pipe bender from Harbor Freight, and made my own. The feed line is eBay special. It's way too fucking long. You can see it right there. The return line, if you could look. No, you can't. Just take my word for it. That one is actually factory. On the NA blocks, there's actually a provision for it. It's tapped and everything. The only thing you have to do is drill a hole in the middle. If you're actually doing this conversion, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Idle control valve is factory, but I'm not really using it um, as of right now because I don't really know how to set it up. Obviously, you have to do a battery re relocation to make room for your external super badass wastegate. Factory, just single coil. Um, I installed a Mega Squirt uh, BIP or the Bosch BIP 130 or 173, which lets you drive the coils directly from Mega Squirt. It's a super easy install, and Ape could do it. All these connectors and shit I've collected, um, they're just every time I go to the junkyard, I'd pull some harness clips off of an old uh, Jetta or something like that. But the Bosch two prong clips are pretty much universal. I am running a fuel pressure regulator, but it's Chineseium. I don't really think it's doing anything. I have more use it as a fitting to adapt my fuel lines over. Running a five window distributor with a Hall effect sensor. Uh, that's pretty much it. Factory like timing belt. I just did a timing belt service and all that shit. When I get the tune figured out, I'll probably make it available so that you can download it off of Mega Squirt. But uh, if you look up Mega Squirt water cooled VW and follow that guide, it'll show you how to use this Hall Effect sensor. 
and it made it infinitely easier for me to figure out why this thing wasn't getting an RPM signal. So yeah, feel free to ask any questions.